We were over at the Cornell sampling site and found a ton of blue-green algae um, and, and just, you know, bloom as far as you can see over there. So we were surprised to see that, took some pictures, gathered some samples, but that will be very interesting back in the lab. Our lab is one of the two toxin analytical labs that are used by New York State DEC. This year has been anything but typical. Uh, I don't know if there is such a thing as a typical year for algal blooms. Generally, you like runoff in the spring, and then you need the temperature to get warm and sunny, and those are the perfect conditions for an algal bloom. We have had plenty of rain this year, and so all the lakes are supercharged with nutrients, and you get a nice, warm, sunny, hot day. These, these blooms tend to just explode. People like to blame agriculture, but honestly, they're only one of the many, many sources, so you can't really make that as a blanket comparison. So samples are come from a variety of sources. We'll get 40 to 50 samples in any given day. We log those into the computer system, send any information we have on those to the DEC so that they know that we've received the samples. Some people are highly allergic to the algae themselves. And in those cases, they will close the beach because the algae are there, not necessarily because the toxins are there, because they're always worried about somebody will have an adverse response just to the algae. And what usually happens on a bloom, especially in Silicon Beach, for example, they float to the surface and the wind all blows them down to the downwind side of the beach. And in Sylvan Beach, well, it so happens that where the canal goes out, there's that little jetty. That little jetty is a perfect rake to just catch them all and pack them right in there on the beach, right? But if it turns around, the wind turns around and blows the other direction, then it just blows them away. Right? And so they dissipate back out in the water and you don't see it. And so the, quote, the bloom has gone away. The algae hasn't gone away. They're just distributed through the water so that we don't really care about it.